of course. Uh, another you. question for our viewers. Which bird species, uh, featured by Chris and the crew, was uh, the... D which bird species was raising its first family in the wild in Britain in 177 years? The first wild breeding of this species. It's the species we want. Brilliant. And Simon, one more question for you here. Sounds quite simple, but very interesting one. Why are the male and female of some species coloured and patterned differently, while others are very different? Gosh, that is a good question. Um, it has almost always something to do with the breeding behaviour. Uh, I'll give you a good example of something that's, that's, that goes against the grain, redneck phalarope. Redneck phalarope is a bird that occurs in the north, in Iceland, and also in Shetland, in the British Isles. The female of the redneck phalarope is a gaudy coloured bird. The male is rather drab, because the male sits on the eggs, the female does all the show. Now, obviously, that's not the case in most bird species. Ducks are a great example of that. Most male ducks are really gaudy. <laughs> they don't sit on the eggs. The females do. And where you get shared responsibility between um, adult birds, often they're the same, and it's to do with camouflage sitting on the nest very often. Right. So if they're similarly <coughs> coloured like a swan or a raven or something like that, they're likely to stay together for, for life. Possibly take a biscuit from someone from YMCA. <laughs> they're likely not only to stay together for life, sorry. but they're also likely to share with the responsibilities of raising a family. Right, sorry, OK, got that. Um, one more question. Yes, that's my question. The last question in the quiz, this is, what are Chris's poodle's names? Oh, as if we haven't heard that answer every single programme. OK, and quickly, quickly now, can we run a VT, please, for, uh, for, for, that we've got? We've got one now. Could we just run it, please, and have a little look at it? Just haven't earned it yet, baby. <laughs> and frankly, Mr Shankly, what a mess. <laughs> well, it looks like a vicar in a tutu, doesn't it? <laughs> it really, really does. What an astonishing... What an analogy bird. I would ever come up with. When the Queen is dead. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Do um, you have any mates at all? No, not really. <laughs> Last night I dreamt someone loved me, but I think it was probably a mistake. <laughs> this charming man asked me to go out and meet a very special nightjar. Wondering whether it's still ill. I think Sheila take a bow, frankly, because that's exactly what I suggested that the solicitors would do. It's amazing you know all those Queen songs, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No. Yes. <laughs> that joke just isn't funny anymore. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. Oh. Any winners? Have we got any winners? We yeah, have. We've had a lot of responses. Have we? <laughs> Who's the winners of our quiz? <clears throat> we've had over 200 responses. Um, a couple of people getting them all right. Um, I haven't got the replies to Simon's last question yet, but the... Oh, uh, well, wait, oh, well, we wait, 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 wait until we get, it, we yeah. get Simon's right question. Right, quickly, um, moving on. Um, 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 what have we got here? The presenter's drinking game. You're not going to like this. Oh. <laughs> Is this what... <laughs> Why have we got all this on the table? What? Oh, we'll come to that in a minute. We'll come to that. Sorry. All right. The, oh, the so... spring watch drinking game. This is obviously for late at night. Yeah. Um, this is by Tufty Dawes, and he and his friends sit down and they play this game. And you can have a drink whenever the presenter mentions any of these names, uh, these words. Absolutely amazing, incredible, or astonishing. <laughs> <laughs> Only half a drink if Kate says astonishing, otherwise you'll be drinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, superb, Chris only, <laughs> cracking, Simon only. <laughs> <laughs> we love the Tufty Dolls drinking game. That's very, very oh, good. That's <laughs> brilliant. That's absolutely um, brilliant. Any winners there at all? Of Look, all she's five frantically right? writing. Frantically Can writing I help them down. There we go. I've got a winner. Okay, okay. we've got winners. Do you want to announce them for us? Yeah, come on, Nick. Beautiful. We've got a couple of people who've got them all right. So, uh, congratulations to the non smashable, which is Tom. Yeah. Tom. Uh, Birdmate, uh, Drexy Mouse, Ottomania, Kieran Duck, MZ Cat, Bonkers Blake, Bloggeroonie, Goldfinch, and Batley Mick. Oh, and not forgetting Big Red Chris. Hooray! Hooray! Well done, Big Red Chris. <laughs> We got them We've all got right. All right. Uh, well, that's a mixture. They were the fastest, the fastest through, and a couple of those got um, all of the questions right. So brilliant. Oh, well done. Go. Brilliant. Very good, good idea. Good all right. Well done. Well done. We managed to get through it. It works. Yes. Good idea. Yeah. OK, very Not quickly sure now. Not sure anyone's going very to buy it as a format. But it, 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 is, <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a try, it was, wasn't it? Was, yeah. Let's try, yeah. let's try one, one more. For, for Simon, it, a simple one, this. Odd one. We've had sitting on it for ages. Where do birds go to die? And it is true that. <laughs> Where you never see them <laughs> dead apart from pigeons. Why, why don't we see <laughs> dead birds more? Good question. 
Well, <laughs> largely, you don't see dead birds because there are other birds to eat them and other things. Scavengers will pick up a carcass. And of course, yes. you see them on the road, and some birds sadly go to die in front of cars. We don't like that way of ending their life. Uh, generally speaking, if a bird's not feeling well, it'll perch somewhere quiet, whether it's in, the, in, its, in a nest box, up in a bush, it'll just sit there and quietly fade away. And then before you know it, it's <gasps> food either for maggots or for another scavenger. Brilliant. Look. Simon, sorry, we've got to interrupt you. Sorry, sorry, Simon. Something sorry, amazing's Simon. happened. Quick, quick, go, go to camera two. Go to, can we go to camera two? Come, it has one of my swallows fledged. Have I, have I become victorious? Please, I, th I saw true? something fly down Did you? There. Did anyone else see? Can anyone, can anyone tell I me on the, told on you, the thing? I should you weren't looking, were you? Look, You're all utterly useless. I, I, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't bear it. Where are those specialist cameramen? Are they, they're all in the pub. Look, look, I want to say something what? quickly. My turn to say something. OK. Chris, this is a serious bit. You had an incredible job to do. It was immensely difficult, and I want to join the hundreds and hundreds of people on the message board that have said absolutely Thank incredible. you very much. Thank this you so extremely kind much. of you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Now that I'm here, instead yeah. of there, yeah. respect. <laughs> Thank you. And where's the audience? We didn't know whether we'd be able to do this, and without you, we wouldn't have been able to do it. And what we said that right at the beginning, but we did. We did. Thanks to you, we, we did. did it. Now, I, actually, I've got a little task for, for us three. We've got to each grab a camera. OK, quickly. Just give me your camera. OK, we want to say thanks to all these, these guys, guys, because these they make guys. the programme, and they've been brilliant. And I'm sorry everything's out of focus, but that's why we're not camera. <laughs> we'll see you in the autumn. You're all fantastic. Autumn